champions, awe-inspiring youngsters, big surprises. This year's Pride of Britain Awards has it all. It's set to air tonight on ITV. Well, Aaron Hunter, who won Good Morning Britain's Young Fundraiser of the Year Award, was among those recognised. Incredible nine-year-old suffers from a rare disease. Is on a mission to raise thousands of pounds to other children won't suffer. Here's a special message that he recorded for us. Hi, everybody. It's me, Aaron. I wanted to say a really special thank you to the Pride of Britain team and to Ben, Susanna and Cheryl for presenting me with my Good Morning Britain Young Fundraiser Award. Yay! <laughs> he did an extraordinary thing. Carol Vorderman is here. Aaron, thank you so, so much. He raised hundreds of three hundred thousand pounds with the help of Robert Downey Jr. and awareness uh, about Rohad, which is the disease that he was born with. Very a rare disease. condition, and he was very poorly on the night. So when people watch Pride of Britain tonight, as I know many will, mm. please be understanding that Aaron is, is quiet on stage, but he's he, he was very unwell. Mm. And yeah. He travelled all the way down from Scotland, you know, to be there and. It's, it's, very great. it's an extraordinary event, of course, because the real heroes are up on stage. Totally. And this is 20 years now, Carol. 20 years, I know. Piers was there at the beginning. Uh, yeah, don't mention him, because otherwise <laughs> he'll talk for the next three minutes. Um, but, yet, and it is, and it's important, you know, we, have a, a, we reflect back on those 20 years, and a lot of the winners, um, uh, who are all tremendous, they're all uh, amazing people, incredible people, inspirational. And, uh, and yet some of them, you know, have passed away since then, and some mm -hmm. of our children of courage uh, came uh, when they were poorly and uh, are no longer with us. And, and yet, as you do know, that everyone becomes a member of the Pride of Britain family. Mm. Mm. Uh, and it's very important to us. And I think it's very, you know, people love it because you, there are, there's something in these winners that touches us deeply. We've also had, so we played Cupid twice in my... Uh, oh, time yes, with, okay. with Pride of Britain. Heard that one. Uh, the <laughs> yeah, first but one let's was roll it out again. So Paul McCartney met Heather Mills at Pride of Britain. Uh, yeah, the very first one. Which didn't go well. It didn't go so uh, But well. Christine Lampard met and Frank, Frank at Pride of Britain. And I was the Cupid for both of these relationships. Really? It's fair to Wait. say the second one is going rather better than the first. Uh, yeah, and it's all about him, obviously. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> let's make it all about um, the. About Carol. The, the, no, 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 never. The winners, never. the winners tonight. It is, I'd find it so. I mean, I'm there on yeah. the night. Night and of course, you know, was there with Aaron. But sometimes it's not until you're watching it on television that it all kind I know. of comes over you. I find I know. it even more emotional. Actually, I get more emotional. So when I I'll watch it, you know, on the sofa tonight yeah. and uh, switch every or the internet off, but just watch it, yes. and it it does overwhelm you actually because it, you realise how, you know. Devastating some of the situations are, mm. but how these wonderful people have come through them and made life better for everybody. What was nice is the original concept, and Peter Willis, our mutual friend, was the, the guy who remember yep, coming absolutely. to me saying, oh, we should flip these award ceremonies round. Everyone's sick and tired of celebrities backstabbing yeah. each other. Let's make it celebrities presenting to real ordinary Well, in fairness, Piers, the very first one, you then interfered and said, uh, no, what we need is Sportsman of the Year, cos I like Lennox Lewis. We'll have Businessman <laughs> of the Year. We'll have Royal of we the Year. We did have some. Politicians. We did have some. That... <laughs> we had a lot. Too, yeah. Though. But over the years, it's become more... Uh, do any famous well, people... Well, that wasn't that? televised, and mm. then it was the ones that... And, and the survivors of the Omar bombing came on stage and mm. so on. And, uh, and that was the bit that really got to us, wasn't it? That first one was that, incredible. It wasn't yeah. Televised, but it was the most emotional yeah, ring so, um, we've ever been through. But it's become, it's a really great event, Pride of Britain. It's become I love it. part of a national psyche, isn't it? I, I think so. And, and everybody who receives an award, they, they say now, you know, how it's helped them if they are mm. fundraisers and so on. And uh, it's, a, it's obviously a, a badge of honour. And I've made two best friends because of it. They, they won. Uh, awards, and that's where I met them when they won awards. Mm. That's Hezron friend, Brown, so. who um, uh, received his award from Sir Ben Kingsley. He was on our program oh, Hezron. last mm. week. He's fantastic. Former gang member, and now goes yeah. into schools, mentors, very young important people. messages that he had to say. Yeah, very important. Uh, he, he told a brilliant story last week where he said, because there's this big thing now about postcode gangs and defending your postcode, and he said he just sat there one afternoon on the sofa with his friend and he just looked at his friend. They're both wearing hoodies and, you know, being the big men, and he just looked at his friend and he said, I don't even live in this postcode. And they and they just laughed about and it was just made the kind of whole mockery yeah. of actually what they were doing. Yep. And he just decided in that moment, you know what, I don't want this life. 
and he stepped away from it. Such yeah. an inspiration. It's Every a, single winner an inspiration. It's a brilliant yeah. event. Pride of Britain Awards, of course, the Daily Mirror, uh, in, a, in partnership with TSB, are on ITV tonight at 8pm. You'll definitely want to watch that.